Back in 2016, I had the pleasure, no, honour, of meeting the man himself, David Allen. And he taught me a very valuable productivity trick that changed everything for me. Before we get into the depths of what David actually taught me, let me first explain to those of you who don't know who David Allen is. David Allen is what most people would describe as the godfather of modern productivity systems. David wrote the book, Getting Things Done. It was a game changer for me when I read this back in 2019. I have read this book over and over again. It is a brilliant, brilliant book. So getting the chance to meet this guy was just unbelievable. I reached out to him on Instagram. I asked, uh, I heard that he was in Korea and I said, do you have an event? And he said, sure, come along. I went to meet him. I didn't actually get my book signed. I can't believe I didn't do that. Anyway, it doesn't matter about that. What mattered was the next day I got to have lunch with the man himself. And we talked inevitably about productivity because that's a thing for me. I kind of enjoy reading about that sort of thing. But we got on to talking about apps. Now, the thing about apps is I was going through that stage of my productivity journey where I was trying to find the perfect app, which doesn't actually exist. But I did not know that at that time. And so I was really curious about what David's advice would be on choosing the best app for time management and productivity. In a way, I was looking for the holy grail of productivity apps. If David Allen was the godfather of productivity, I wanted to use what he was using. And I was determined to find out what that was. What David told me was disappointing. It turns out that David Allen had been using an application called eProductivity. Now this was something connected to an old software called Lotus Notes. Now I have no idea if Lotus Notes is around today. It was, if I remember correctly, still around in 2016, but I was blown away. eProductivity, I'd never heard of it. I was living in a world of Todoist, of omnifocus on things two, not things three, and those kind of task managers, e-productivity, what was that? I was curious. So I started digging a little bit deeper and asking a few more probing questions. Turns out e-productivity was developed around about 1998, 1999. And it was developed in collaboration with David Allen himself. Thing is, you can't get it anymore, doesn't exist, but David Allen still uses it. It looks old. I found pictures of it on Google and it just looks ugly. So why does David Allen use that? I mean, this is a guy who pretty much invented modern day productivity. So why? Why is he using such an old, old, <laughs> time task manager? That was the question I asked David Allen. Why are you using such an old system? Surely you could use a better system. David responded, it's not the tools, it's the system you use. And that has been stuck in my brain ever since 2016. From that moment on, from when I left that lunch, I stopped looking for new tools. I stuck with what I was using at that time, which was Todoist and Evernote. I haven't switched. Now, I'll be honest, I have played around with Apple Notes, but I have not switched from Todoist. I have used that 
pretty much since 2014 on and off, but from 2016, that is now seven years ago, I've never ever used anything else. I do find it quite ironic that if you ever talk to a carpenter or a builder or anything like any kind of person who does that kind of work and ask them the kind of tools they use, they will look at you quizzically. They, they would think, what? well, that's a silly question. Why are you asking me that question? A hammer is a hammer. A screwdriver is a screwdriver. Sure, there are better quality hammers and better quality screwdrivers and spanners and trowels and all those kind of tools. But if you ever look in a carpenter's toolbox, you will notice that every single tool in there is old. It's been used. It's got scratches. It's, the handles are dirty. You know, it's maybe even have a little bit of rust on the shaft of the screwdriver. But I can promise you one thing. These carpenters and these builders do not spend all day on Google looking for the latest, shiniest new hammer. They get a hammer, it works, and they use it. And when it breaks, they buy a new hammer. But oftentimes, and I've met many people in the construction industry who've used the same hammer for 20 years. In fact, I remember watching a, a British TV show called The Repair Shop, where one of the people who repairs items was so proud that they were still using the same hammer that their grandfather used. That hammer was 60 years old and it still worked. So if your goal is to become better organized and more productive, then the best advice I can give you is stop hunting around for tools. Just pick one and stick with it. That was essentially the advice that David Allen gave me. It transformed my productivity. I became a lot more productive. I was able to start a second business. I run two businesses, an English language teaching business and now my productivity coaching and consulting business. That was not possible when I was wasting time hunting around for the latest shiniest object. It doesn't help you. It actually is just another form of procrastination and it's a huge distraction, particularly if you want to get on and do whatever it is that you want to be more productive doing. So if you're gonna start building your system, if you're gonna start developing the processes that you need in order to be able to become more productive and better organized, then I would suggest taking a look at this video.